Have you checked your screen time? It's bad. Yeah, I spend four hours on Instagram. I somehow spent 30 minutes on Shazam. How do you spend longer on Shazam than you do on me? That, that was hurtful. We are addicted to our phones. We need to get off of we it. Are. You know what would be good for us? What? To stare at the 50 inch phone we mounted on the wall. Hey, stop. I saw, off. Okay, I just, it's not enough stimulation. Let's pause. I gotta go to the bathroom. I gotta. Wait, go. no, don't take your phone. Why? I, it's gonna take you an hour if you okay. take your phone. You're right, the TikToks, you know. Okay, swipe, uh, swiping, I should be wiping. <laughs> yes, you should, all right, that's enough. We did it, we just watched a video on that big screen and no videos on that. So do you feel better? No, oh. not at all. I'm anxious. Do you wanna talk about it or just? I'll text you. Thanks for being back to our Correct Opinions. Hope we're stimulating you. Uh, hope you're watching this, listening, both. Oh, so the stimulating was different than watching and listening. Uh -huh. Oh, interesting. <laughs> Whatever. I mean, yeah, we're just putting out content and we hope you watch all of it. So we're adding to the, I'm not going to call it a problem. I think it's a good thing. I love my, watching my phone for 10 hours a day. Yeah, that's right. Speaking of stimulation, we should get a golf stimulator. Mm. I, thought, I thought you'd have to have that till you're 40. <laughs> that seems young. <laughs> going to be a good episode. <laughs> going to be a good episode. Welcome back. Correct opinions. Like, subscribe, review. Tell your friends about it. Happy holidays. Uh, let's do this. Roll the music. Correct opinions. Correct opinions. Tis the season for clean boys. I'm a clean boy. I am a clean boy. Katie? I'm going to have a clean That's boy. That's right, because of Manscaped. Manscaped. <laughs> Um, Manscaped, <laughs> they have an offer for y'all this holiday season. You can save 20% off and free shipping by going to manscaped.com slash Trey. It's the holiday season after all. Grab some, uh, some practical gifts, some funny gifts, maybe for that, uh, white elephant, dirty Santa, we would call it. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. I mean, all sorts of stuff. They sent us uh, a while back the, the Platinum Package 4.0, mm -hmm. I believe. Bunch of stuff in it, stocking stuffers if you need that. One of the things they sent uh, was a nose trimmer uh, that my fiance Rachel actually uses a lot and says it's pretty nice. Well, great. I've noticed that about her. I was like, my gosh. You see all are, the way up there now. I sure can. <laughs> um, so, guys, uh, go get some Manscaped. Save 20% off plus free shipping by going to manscaped.com slash tray. I love it. I, it smells great. I have the cologne, shampoo, uh, the whole thing. So 20% off plus free shipping at manscaped.com slash Trey. Manscaped, the perfect gift this holiday season. It's the holiday season. Got to think of some unique gifts. And I have a great one for you. Masterclass. For a membership, you can learn from so many of the experts in their field. Like I'm doing a Gordon Ramsay cooking class. Uh, Katie, I think she's learned to sing from Mariah Carey. Yeah. yeah. Hit a little whistle tone for us. Whistle <laughs> Try it. She learned that from Masterclass. <laughs> no, but seriously, oh, Jake's doing Masterclass. What? Yes, I am. I Anyone else out there a big fan of Only Murders in the Building? Steve Martin, he's on Masterclass teaching comedy. That's awesome. Seriously, it's really cool as you can explore so many things. I picked, I touched a little Texas Hold'em stuff because I like to play that from Daniel Negreanu, famous poker player. So we recommend you check it out. This holiday, give the perfect gift of an annual Masterclass membership and you get one free. So go to masterclass.com slash Trey today. That's buy one, get one free on the annual membership. Masterclass.com slash Trey. Terms apply. Um, okay, so on Friday, I went to dinner with some girls and uh, we were sitting, I mean, I had a great view of these seventh graders who just came from their middle school dance. Ooh. And Wait, how late was this? We ate dinner at 7.30 and the dance had already happened. <laughs> so that, They got early dances these days? It was that, daylight savings dances, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I really... But it was very clear what age they were because the girls looked five years older than the boys. <laughs> yeah, that's great. I mean, every boy was shorter than all the girls. And one, I mean... I was entertained. I barely like, talked to my friends because I was watching this interaction. <laughs> Katie does that. I don't know. Does Rachel, Does is this a girl thing or maybe just a weird Katie thing where we'll just be sitting on a plane or somewhere to like dinner together on like a date. And then a few, maybe we'll like, won't say a word for a couple minutes. So then she just likes to tune into someone else's. She's like, <laughs> did you hear what they just said? <laughs> no, I'm not listening to them. Or we'll leave it and be like, can you believe this couple was talking about this at dinner? <laughs> yeah. So, well, well so, any good that's juicy me. deets? That's what I do. Yeah. Well, <laughs> it's, it's very entertaining. Um, well, you know, at one point they were all just like whispering, like the girls were getting you know, whispering to the boys and the boys were whispering to the other boys. And like, there was not a lot of cross communication, you know, at that <laughs> age. It was either on the phone or whispering or the parent chaperone came over and the dad just came over. He was sitting, they were sitting somewhere else. He came over. He's like, everything good. 
And the girl whose dad it was, I mean, she turned as red <laughs> as that wall. <laughs> she was mortified. But what was even funnier. Dad, you promised you wouldn't come over here. Is the mom came over and all the boys were like, oh, hey, Mrs. Smith. <laughs> like they were. For good reason? <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> wow, good for her. Where were you? What what like what kind of place? It was just like some a graders go. In a pizza hut or something? <laughs> yeah. Girls Night. Where were you? The, the <laughs> Oak Park Mall? It was just like a, you know, bar and grill type place. Okay. Um, but some of the boys had sweaters tied around their shoulders. <laughs> I mean, it was just oh. such an interesting, like the girls' dresses were, you know, tight, barely covering anything. Whoa. It was a it was very entertaining. Man. I can see me as a dad of like a middle school girl someday legitimately taking offense to her being embarrassed by me. Like, yeah. <laughs> it seems like it's a lose-lose, right? They, that, guy, that dad probably went over there and was just very normal. Hey, you guys doing okay? Everything That's exactly, all right? yeah. And there's no other way to approach that. And the girl's just yeah. like, oh, oh, I mean, dad, why you got to be so I'm awkward? So, I'm so sorry I have a dad, guys. <laughs> she, <laughs> she buried her head and her friends like came around her and like surrounded her. And she's like, no. <laughs> so funny it would be tough for me to handle that it's like how do i ask if you're okay oh and none of them ate any of their food they were all oh. too nervous to eat you know so they left the waitress and us were horrible. like having a conversation about it the whole time all the food was still on the table they were like too nervous to eat except the three boys who sat at another table next to them they ate all their food they were smart good. yeah good for them bachelors yeah, yeah. they were the bachelors yeah like, no worries <laughs> yep Wow. I remember going to the movies in like middle school with my family around the holidays. There's like a group of uh, my classmates there and like our town's movie theater. I remember just being like humiliated that I had a loving family. Yeah. <laughs> <I can't>. <laughs> <laughs> to look back on it now, half these kids I'm thinking of had, were from like broken, terrible homes. I'm like, gosh, lucky them. They don't have yeah. to be there. I'm, this is a humiliating. Imagine Derek's kids as a family man. <laughs> <laughs> this is what they're going to have to deal with. Yeah. Just this present father all the time. Oh, I'm checking still, on you, kids. I'm still in the phase where, like, when I go pick up my daughter from room, daycare, it's cool to see dad. Like, hey, mm. my dad's here. You guys see this? Yeah, <laughs> that's gonna break my heart. That's <laughs> that's gonna be a weird shift. I have, I uh, my we have a family friend who he's like, uh, his he has a kid in I don't know middle school, high school, uh, but he's he's they like adopted later in life. So he's like older than all the parents. I guess that he has to drop his son off like down the street. So they don't see his old dad. Oh, <laughs> oh. I guess you serious. just deal with that. Then you're like, I mean, in a few years he'll, we'll laugh at this, but all right, I'll just hide <laughs> my face. Hide the old dad. Wow. Man. I remember like getting arguments with my parents. Like you've got to basically ask them to like not exist. And my dad, mm -hmm. like, I'm not, I'm no, I'm going to walk in there. I'm like, Oh, so embarrassing tonight could you maybe not be around during parent teacher conferences yeah no i have to be there this is the only time i can be there I remember walking down the aisle katie was bright red she's like dad <laughs> why are you here why are you here i know you paid for this also but in front of all my friends yeah. this is humiliating Jeez. i also feel like it gets brought up a lot the whole difference between like you know my generation versus generation now and like what we look like and like those girls like knew how to do their makeup, their hair. Oh, I mean, totally. I did not look like that going to my seventh grade dance at all. Yeah, I think <laughs> just the the information age, right? Everyone knows how to do. Um, they've got ten different people they follow on TikTok who teach them how to do right. makeup. Yeah. So it's like, why would I not use this? And they can see it. My only reference was my friends and um, Teen Magazine, Teen Vogue, <laughs> for like what it could look like. Yeah. 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 Oh, I see. I see. That was what, and yeah. I just did my best. Teen Vogue. <laughs> yeah. Were you pretty Vogue? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. You were probably <laughs> built like the Vogue models in middle school. Like yeah. 90 pounds. That, that was the other funny thing, watching them and just thinking, when I was that age, I was 5'8 already. Wow. Oh. <laughs> and probably not even 100 pounds. <laughs> so I was just looking at this and I was like, man, I looked super awkward. For sure. Middle school years, man. Those are brutal. They that's, were. That's great. We need to start going to the suburbs for Friday night dinner more often. Yeah. Let's go to a prom. Yeah. Would that be weird? Yeah, I was going to say, skip the middle part. Just go to a middle school dance. We can just mm -hmm. chaperone. We can just call yeah. school. We're not parents or anything. We just really want to chaperone. <laughs> so I'm here to gather. Please yeah. gather information. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you see where I'm a comedian and we need content. We're uh, always looking for young, up-and-coming material. 
So just yeah. on the lookout. <laughs> Not creepy at all. Uh, Der- Derek, you got a passive aggressive garbage man? Yeah. So we've been told a couple times uh, they got new garbage trucks with new grabby things. Oh, dude. It, I was watching. I don't know if garbage trucks have really improved recently or if I just don't watch the garbage truck ever. <laughs> like I'm six years old. But yeah, they do yeah. have new grabby things. Yeah, new grabby things. This one's a little bit wider, so it doesn't fit in tight uh, spaces. So I can't put my garbage can next to uh, my mailbox anymore. The garbage collector has asked us kindly twice to move it to their side, but I keep forgetting. Mm. <laughs> so th- this morning I came out and I put it on the wrong side again. And uh, my garbage can was just thrown in the middle of my driveway <laughs> on the side. Take He's that. had enough. <laughs> he, he just spray painted F you, Derek. Yeah. <laughs> like, I got to use this every week. <laughs> yeah, That's so. funny. He's par- Yeah, because he is a little passive, right? Or like he, because the alternative is like, he just doesn't want to hit your mailbox. So he'll still do the job and yeah. not hit your mailbox. So he does still care about you. Send a message. But he does though. not like it. No. He doesn't like having to be like meticulous. Yeah, I'm trying to test his accuracy with that grip thing. Like, yeah. I, yeah. So. How good are you? In the game of operation or something. I like being challenged in my career. Does he not want to be challenged? <laughs> exactly. I agree. I'm not going to just put it next to the mailbox. I'm going to put it on top of the mailbox. <laughs> mm-hmm. We're both going to challenge like each other bolt here. bolt it to the pavement. Let's <laughs> start getting creative. Yeah. yeah have I you love guys that. had some passive aggressive situations like this? I feel like, um, well, a couple things. Recently, one last night I was ordering pizza and I feel like no answer I gave the woman over the phone was the right answer. It was just like, uh, can I do an order for carry out? Carry out. I was like, yeah, mm-hmm. you're going to come pick it up. I was like, yeah. <laughs> like, I don't know if we're She's like, no one does that anymore. I don't think, you know? <laughs> I didn't know if it was that really? or if she just doubted I knew the definition of a carry out. Like, no, you're probably saying the wrong thing. You're going to come in here and pick it up. Um, and then as we got to ordering, you know, tick bite boy, I was like, can I just get a cheese pizza? She's like, just cheese. <laughs> and I was like, yeah. Oh my and God. then even though she went a step further. She's like, well, do you at least want extra cheese so it doesn't burn? Which I don't know what she was referring <laughs> what? to with that. I don't burn. know what that means. Sir, whenever you ordered, uh, the oven's not even going to be able to make it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm just now remembering that she I've said that. I've never heard of that. Like, like, I still s- want the, just, like, the bread and the sauce <laughs> and the cheese. There's still cheese on it, right? Or you're not, yeah. I don't know what she meant by that, but I was like, no, just normal cheese. She's like, Okay, and uh, what was the last thing that kind of upset her? Oh, she's like in... Uh, no tip. <laughs> yeah, yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah. I, I would, yeah, by the time I got in there, luckily she wasn't the one who sold, gave it to me. There was something else, but yeah, she was not pleased by any answer I gave her. And then another thing that this reminded me of is my sister actually told me a story, which off the podcast last week, Derek, you and I were talking about you used to work at Best Buy. Mm-hmm. And I literally was like, I feel like all the best stories come from Best Buy. And then later that day, my sister was like, I went and did Best Buy curbside pickup. And this guy took his job so literally that Kaylin asked, hey, can you put it actually like on the passenger side? And he was like, I can't leave the curb. Oh <laughs> so he didn't gosh. leave the curb. I just Really? So he had, it was like a printer or something. And so he had to like hand it through like my sister's like window to her. It's like an international border or something. <laughs> yeah. like once I step across the curb, I mean, technically they could arrest me. <laughs> I don't know. I'll never see my family I again. I do wonder if there's like some weird legal <laughs> thing of they're like, we have to stay. Now it's the city's property. Yeah. If we're on the parking yeah. lot, who knows? Yeah. Like it slipped, there's banana peels. <laughs> Jerry crossed the curb once. We never saw him again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm not taking that risk. <laughs> so, Derek, former Best Buy employee, yeah. what's all that about? I don't know if we had that rule. Uh, <laughs> maybe they think it's on Best Buy's property still. If they take it off, they're stealing, and then they he gets tackled by the guy in the yellow shirt. <laughs> Ooh, a little loophole. Wow. That's probably what it is. Yeah, yeah it is. Uh, it's funny. We, like, we went somewhere recently where you were, that reminds me, you make a request, you know, they're like, I mean, I guess. I won't fight this, but it doesn't make sense. Like at a fast food place, like, okay, listen. So like, he, he, like, you know, I prefer chicken. So could you just give me the like spicy bacon burger, just chicken breast instead of burger? Mm-hmm. Like, let me just check real quick. Like I talked to this shit. I talked to the kitchen. Uh, no, we can't. <laughs> and you just kind of go, really? You, you you're, cannot? You're making chicken sandwiches and burgers. So just substitute. I don't. Yeah. we. Sorry. You can't do that. That's happened to me too many times, and I I, I don't know. I, I go with it. But. Yeah, if I need to work in a restaurant to fully understand this, because from us, from the consumer, it's like just do it. But maybe it's more complicated. Maybe I don't know. I mean, I was a McDonald's cashier before. <laughs> you always like bragging so about that. We met. <laughs> let me tell. You, I mean, part of it is that you know we 
on the screen there's just like buttons for what you order. Oh, and so it could so, be like a transaction thing. Like we yeah, cannot we enter that in. We can't charge you for this. But to me, I'm just like, I'm just going to try. I, don't, I would be like, if we can make that happen, you just charge them for the more expensive item. Yeah. Yeah, that way you don't get in trouble. Yeah. That makes sense. You're a problem solver, Katie. That's you how are. you got this job. That's you know? why you Assisted were employee to the co-host. The month. From <laughs> were you employee for the <laughs> month ever? Um, no, I only worked there for two months and I was never, so. Well, Do they have employee of the month? Uh, no, but once again, our manager like stole from us. There was a lot <laughs> happening, so there wasn't like a wasn't well organized <laughs> well maybe we'll get employee of the month at your current job yeah mm-hmm. maybe yep. with us we're gonna announce december soon <laughs> big, uh, big big plaque we should if do we, a correct opinions employee of the month yeah if we do have any uh listeners that are former or current best buy employees there's some awesome stories that come over there let's get those in the comments <laughs> get your a, best buy story get a best yep. buy story once a week or let so. us yeah. know <clears throat> let us know um speaking of comments and stuff from fans we have a few videos from fans Send us in your submissions to the correct opinions Instagram. Love to hear from y'all. Uh, ask us questions, say whatever. <clears throat> um, you know, but you know, be like entertaining or at least cool about <laughs> it. Let's see. We have a few here. Hey guys, horse girl here. She's back. As for hobby horse girl, please do less. You oh. do not claim her. This horse is very real. Jake, I will not be riding a hobby horse if you come to Paris. That horse is not moving. Those hooves. Yeah, it's a statue. definitely win the glue-making competition, Trey. <laughs> Anyways, I'll check back in oh, in a few months, and Lord willing, we are closer to our goal. Horse girl. She's she's, she's lucky that horse moved merch. at the end. In the merch. Yeah, correct Opinions merch. merch. We got a few uh, items left. Uh, go store.treykinney.com. Get your Correct Opinions merch. Uh, nice update from Horse Girl. She does not. The horse is real. We're, we still know the horse's still name. Still no name. Correct opinions, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> but it is a real horse, which is nice to confirm. Did see some movement at the end. Yeah, I forgot we talked about <clears> the, <throat> the horse on a stick girl mm-hmm. last week. Good no. to hear straight from the horse's mouth what they think of that. Um, Anna, Horse Girl, sorry. Um, yeah, excited to hear back in a couple months how Thank the you. progress is going. Thank you for ch- Paris, checking in. 2024. Who else we got? Hey guys, my name is Gwen. I'm currently living in Mexburg, Idaho. And I'm going to Idaho. 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 Anyways, <laughs> Trey, I love your stuff. You're hilarious. My mom introduced me to your videos and comedy back during the pandemic. And that Moms was love really me. fun because it was like good entertainment. Jake, congratulations on the engagement. Thank you. Um, Katie, congratulations on the pregnancy. Um, Not really you, Trey. Cool to hear about Not it because <laughs> I'm taking charge of all that right now. So I can like come make a connection between all that stuff. Anyways, Derek, I love all your little side comments. They're family they're man. Because I don't know. They're fun. Um, if you're wondering about the picture behind me, that's a picture my three year old brother made for me and it got mailed to me while I've been oh, here. We really can't sweet. make fun of it then. Anyways, I'm just finding something to get it's pretty sweet. To something, something you guys said a few weeks ago about a Gen Z correspondent. I am 18 years old, so mm. I am a Gen Z. I'm up to trend with all the Instagram and TikTok stuff. So if you guys do need a Gen Z correspondent, hit me up. Ah, wow. that's good. Yeah. Throwing her hat in the ring. That was a pretty Thank nice you. application, you know. She kind of told us where she's from, what she's doing. Family girl, three-year-old brother. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. F- family of artist. Um, yeah, throwing her hat in the she ring. She probably throwing turned her- that into an NFT, that art. <laughs> probably she, could. I like, uh, we made that up as a total joke, but that's like the third application I've received. Of like, <laughs> yeah. But seriously, I am 19 and I can correspond with Gen Z things. Which, and you need it. Which Without what saying? Uh, maybe <laughs> when be I think helpful. of hit people, I think of Rexburg, Idaho. They know what's going down. <laughs> Rexburg, Idaho. Cutting very edge. true. Very true. Cutting edge. Very up to date. I'm sure things will come up organically where we need to know. Like, is this happening? Is it not? Mm-hmm. We'll put it out there to our correspondents. Can it, can it kind of be like, um, who wants to be a millionaire? And we have like phone a friend, and so they have to be available <laughs> while we're recording. They do. Yes. <laughs> you know? That would be how it would have to work. You yeah. just we just try them, and if they don't answer, then well. Move on to the next correspondent. You're fired. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're yes. fired. Yeah. You're fired. So, so don't uh, be busy. Just apply. Let us know. Instagram, whatever. Uh, it's so one it's strike. Not, you're out. Policy. Not an easy job. It, the pay is zero, and you'll get fired if you mess up once. <laughs> and Katie is really on us to get employee of the month. So oh. you're probably not going to get employee of the month for you're a while. You're not going to get it. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh. And if it if you continue to if it keeps working, once the baby's here, you will once a month you have to babysit it. <laughs> Perfect. The, the baby uh, is now the youngest FaceTime. employee, and so we might just correspond with the baby instead mm-hmm. of you. So, Jin, what, what's the next Jin narration? Um, Jin, Jin, Jin marbles. <laughs> I like that. You know, that's a good question. <laughs> is it like when hurricanes? Does... We just start back at back at A. Back at A. 
just keep going. Because they go, because they go through the alphabet every year. That restarts every year with the hurricanes. Have they ever? Have we ever seen a hurricane Zoe? Never been that many. I don't know. I remember um, Hurricane Andy did a number on New York, so it's interesting that like one of the first ones of the year mm-hmm. did a good job. We are we do that. The next one is Generation Alpha. Oh. Oh. Wow, our son is going to be an alpha. He's going to be an alpha. <laughs> of course he is. <laughs> uh, okay, I think we got one more video. Thanks for sending it in, folks. Generation Alpha, huh? Hey, Correct Opinions. First hey. of all, we want to say that Derek is our favorite. Oh. oh. We love seeing his cameos accidentally in the Mood Swings videos. That's not him. Uh, <laughs> we feel very excited when we see his face. Look at my boys. They're so excited. We're oh. sending this video to you. We want to know if Jake has watched the Pickled show on... <laughs> Oh, pickled. Oh, okay. Yeah. The, 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 that's all we need. The pickled show. Jake, have you watched the pickled show on? I think they said it was the video keeps going. They basically spent 30 seconds trying to decide what <laughs> network it's on. I think CBS. I'm so, not, Derek, congrats. Jake, have you seen pickled? <laughs> I'm not her favorite. So I don't even know if she deserves a response. You know, that's a great you, response. if you lead I mean, in with Jake, you're my favorite. Jake, to answer this question. But as far as I know, I'm her least favorite person on here. No. Um, yeah, I know what she's talking about. I didn't watch it. Um, but being a member, somewhat of a member of the pickleball community, and by community, I mean two different Facebook groups. I can tell you what the pickleball community thinks about it. It was so funny. Really? <clears throat> the pickleball community. So what's the show for those who don't know, like me? Yeah, I don't know. Stephen Colbert, from what I know, hosted some type of... You remember when Steph Curry did that weird like one night like putt-putt thing? Mm. <clears throat> I think it was kind of like that. It was just like a one-off, like, hey, this is a special show. They kind of... These networks really kind of... <laughs> Just disrespect the the modern American family every Christmas. They're like, these idiots will watch anything. <laughs> they kind of do that. <laughs> Steph Curry pot putting. Like, oh, let's DVR it. So that's it's that. <laughs> yes. Got it. It is something that your parents have on their DVR and their direct TV right now. Yeah. Stephen Colbert hosted some sort of pickleball like exhibition, I think, and they just got a bunch of like A-list celebrities to play pickleball. I think Emma Watson was there, Will Farrell was there. Um, but a lot of people in the pickleball community, which is primarily white people above 50. Didn't like it so much. There's big uproar. It was like, I can't believe pickleball finally gets on the national stage. And we got we got Harry Potter's cousin doesn't even know the rules. Can you believe that? That's the kind of publicity we're getting. So it's like low level pickleball. Like they're I guess there were people on there who had literally never even played pickleball before, which is probably a bad idea yeah. to, to have those people on. The amount of people playing pickleball. You yeah. show up like what? I did a, uh, not to brag, I did my own celebrity pickleball tournament. I came and supported you. Yes, thank you. Wow, it meant a lot. It was me and local radio personalities <laughs> and like one guy who has a food truck or something. A girl who got like 48th on American Idol a long time mm-hmm. ago. Yes. And so I was like, I like pickleball and I don't know what came, I don't know what came across to me to be like, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm there. But they were nice folks. It was fun. And, but the second I was there, it was like, my te- here's your teammate. And she's like, what are the rules? I was like, all right, why? <laughs> Why am I doing this? But uh, so yeah, I guess answer. Yeah, I, no, I didn't watch it. But uh, some people in the pickleball world are really excited. They're like, "Hey, pickleball, CBS! It's their time. Finally hitting the national spotlight. We're on the come up." Yeah, and other and you people. have Hermione Granger just <laughs> all in the kitchen. Yeah, other people <laughs> didn't like that. That's a shame. So you you heard it here first. Jake did not watch it. Um, I think we talked about. Let me see. Because he's a passionate pickler, and it's causing drama in the pickleball Maybe. space. Maybe while we're t- to tell another story, did I t- was it this podcast where I, I would read off those uh, posts that one guy in the uh, pickleball Facebook group he would he would type out these motivational maybe things? I think I did. If not, I'll try to find another one for you guys. It sounds it's motivation to play pickleball. It's just um he'll always it's just like hey I know your knees hurt old man <laughs> yeah get I don't out remember there that one I, you do or I do don't. not no. okay maybe that wasn't this podcast there is this guy who's so into like the mental aspect of pickleball <laughs> and just unsolicited we'll just type essays of like hey this week gang let's focus on this this is like a facebook group with like fifty thousand people in it and it, he's taking it on himself to be like the mental coach yeah it's so it's like funny the pickle pastor or something <laughs> the pickle pastor <laughs> and i feel like he's like gained an audience like everybody like thank you dane always love hearing it thank you I was in my Epsom salt bath, and I didn't think I had it in me, but your Facebook post got me out there. It was when you hashtagged nine things in a row at the end of your post, where I was like, this guy gets it. He gets it. This guy gets it. This will will me to defeat the 90-year-old couple. 
that somehow really was so coordinated. Introduce my dad to this Facebook page. Oh yeah, I would love to see him is... in there. I don't even know how the people that are playing pickleball like remember the score. <laughs> Isn't that probably one of the bigger hurdles? <laughs> <laughs> what was it? Eight to what? I mean, I play with people my age that do that. Is there anything more annoying when you play board game, sports game, any game, and they're like, uh, what was that score again? What was the score? That's me. Yeah. It's just because you're really competitive and not. And you're losing. <laughs> yeah, you just yeah. make it score. I'm just like, yeah, we're doing it for fun. Whatever. I think in any game, it could be a card game where just people refuse to kind of learn the rules and always have an ask. Okay, what do I do after I roll the dice? Mm -hmm. It's like, dude, we've said this like five times. You're not, yeah, you're not trying to. Yeah. God, I'm fired up for the pickle pastor. <laughs> Katie, are we playing pickleball soon? Um, it does seem like something. I, it does seem like I could play that pregnant. Yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. if yeah, people play with can play, then I can. People playing with plastic hips, you can play with a fetus. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let's get out there. I like pickleball for the record. Uh, it is seems to be blowing up. And it does feel like the classic Hollywood move. Like, oh, the Midwest is catching on to the sport. Let's just throw, let's just email like 200 A-list celebrities. And the first eight to respond will just show up in the <laughs> film. We'll be like, what is this? The first eight My to agent respond. said this would be a good way to get in <laughs> touch with people from Arkansas <laughs> to watch Harry Potter. I, uh, yeah, I, I think, who knows what you and I could do someday with the sport of pickleball, you know? revolutionize it i mean Ooh, why not uh why not us Is why not you say? yeah why not a pickleball um channel just like mood swings well there you go yeah katie you have to be in it though okay yeah i'm in <laughs> um was deshaun watson at the pickleball tournament <laughs> or megan markle uh no deshaun watson was still serving his suspension um mm -hmm. but he is back now yeah. to do whatever For, yeah he's learned his lesson did you see the nfl said he he's should, made he progress should be nowhere near anything involving a pickle correct yes he's made progress the nfl said yeah he's made progress in the last three months he's which like i don't know if that just means like no one sued him yeah so i mean that technically we're so proud of deshaun he hasn't assaulted a single woman and three that's months in three months that yeah progress i think we talked about this case when it first came out and yeah it's still like this thing where I guess nothing is going to happen to him and he just gets to play football again. He just it's has like wild. that. It, was it that a list of things that he had to do? He did like. That was Kyrie Irving. Oh. It was Kyrie. Um, but this, this is, is a guy a, who actually did some criminal. This is an NFL quarterback, <laughs> allegedly. Wrong. So he's, I guess, correct me if I'm wrong. He's never been charged with anything, but he settled something like 25 civil lawsuits claiming that he sexually assaulted women who were his masseuse. He basically, he masseuse? has an MO. He does the same thing every time with these women. He hires to massage him. Each one of them have like the same story. So it's and like, clearly he's doing this. Settled all of them. So he probably just spent all his money to be like, can you not? And then he just, he just got a $250 million contract because he's really good at football. But I, I don't like that. You don't like that? Yeah. No, I don't like that. You heard it here first, folks. <laughs> Katie does not support I'm, it. Yeah, I'm taking my stance. Yeah, good stance. Probably an unpopular opinion, but I'm going to take it. <laughs> It was weird. Everyone's like, what's the NFL going to do? This is a big issue. So they suspended for 11 games. Everyone's like, okay, 11. That's kind of random. That doesn't seem to fit the crime totally. But the 12th game was against his former team when all this went down. So it was kind of like, okay, I guess they're doing this for the views and the clicks. And then he went and played his old team. Everyone's like, what's he going to do? Uh, didn't score a point. So um, he may, yeah. Cleveland gave $250 million guaranteed money. And now it's like, rusty. Maybe you shouldn't have taken the tears off. It's, yeah rusty or, or oily yeah yeah the, couldn't grip well, anything the, well, yeah all the ball how are they how can they catch the ball <laughs> got baby oil on everything um what you had Meghan markle news what's going on there mm -mm. Oh, i know yeah, the ladies saw, love the royal family well i'm currently watching the crown so i know that's a, there's a new season out so sure every, a lot of ladies are watching the that the crayon the crayon <laughs> Crayola. You know it's pronounced crayon, right? <laughs> the crayon. <laughs> the crown. You know, I do say those words the same. But um, Meghan and Prince Harry did a Netflix docuseries. So that, I don't know when it's coming out, but it's going to sh share all about how they left the royal family. I mean, I saw a girl post, she reposted it and said, this is my Super Bowl. 
<laughs> yeah. The so. ladies love. I, did you see uh, there's all these athletes? I guess the prince and princess of Wales were like. At a Celtics game? At a Celtics game. Why, why were they here? I guess World Cup stuff or I don't know why. I don't know. But they the came prince. to America for the World Cup. Like, whoops. Kate, Kate Middleton. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, we were playing America, not here. I don't know why they're Prince and Princess of Wales. And they're asking all these like NBA players, d- dudes, like, was it a little extra pressure there when you were in the uh, the presence of royalty? And basically every guy is kind of like, who are you talking can about? Can you point them out to me? And then what? I, could I tell mean, you. surely everyone could point out Kate Middleton, right? Is she the Prince of Wales? No, not Wales. Oh, well, See? they were here, too. They is were, that, who's the princess of Wales? Is it Kate Middleton? Exactly. The dudes are like, <laughs> dude, I don't care. I have no idea. And the girls would are like, oh my gosh. The Prince royalty. Of, princess of Wales is technically Diana. Oh, it's like an honorary spot? Really? I'm just kidding. It used oh. to be. Oh. That, Wait, see, what's no, crazy I is I thought these people were the prince and I thought the royalty this? was the prince of Wales is Kate Middleton. Oh, I'm learning See what? See, us dudes know nothing. See, That's I Kate was Middleton, right. right? Yes, I thought. I thought it was I thought the royal family was England. Yeah, it's, it's, it's Wales this whole time. It's it's all of um, UK. Great, yeah. Oh, I thought you were whale. asking her if she was okay. You okay? You okay? I was like, she seems fine. I'm all stressed about this. <laughs> you okay? <laughs> Doing the labor. The so, so the royal family is Wales, which is rules it's over just, the UK no, too. No, because Wales is just Wales, Scotland, England. Which collectively Ireland, are the UK. UK. I think what us Americans <laughs> don't get is the UK is a little bit of like the Trinity situation. I think it's one of those that are like, wait, God is three, but also one. Okay. How is he both? And they're like, you just can't, you just got to mm-hmm. roll with it. I yeah. think the Water, UK is the same. Water, ice, You steam. should, you know, it would really help if you watched The Crown. It kind of like helps to show that. Is what I'm saying Maybe. accurate? So you're what, like, what there's part? a Godfather <laughs> spirit, but yeah. Jesus, Diana Jesus lives, is just yeah. Jesus, yeah. but there's also... Diana uh-huh. lives on in spirit. Yeah. Di- yeah. yeah. She is. She's spirit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And Kate Middleton, Wales. But, well, Wales is its own thing, but Wales is also UK. You can go yeah. Wales watching in England. Yeah, you can. I know that. You okay with mm-hmm. that? Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like we've got this perfectly clear. I would rather do this than watch The Crown. <laughs> yeah, I would too. <laughs> the Crown. Is... Okay, I hate to bring up another character in this whole thing, but I saw on Twitter someone I don't recognize. I think they're part of the royal family. But her husband is not as good looking. This is the only way I know how to describe them. Taller, balder. And they were at some sort of event. You know who I'm talking about, maybe? So she they wore got a... divorced. Kim and Kanye? <laughs> <laughs> no. She, they went to some sort of red carpet event, and she wore a bald bright guy. green dress. Who's the, who's the bald royal guy? That's Kate and William. That's Kate Middleton? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. I don't know anything. Either Kate way. Middleton? She is wore... She was in, like, she 13 was... going on 30, right? No. <laughs> Kate Middleton? <laughs> Is she an actress? No. Just a princess. Who is she, Prince Harry with? <laughs> Prince Harry is with Meghan. Ah. And Prince Andrew was with? Epstein. Yeah, that's, yeah. <laughs> okay, that makes sense. <laughs> and the island, was the island part <laughs> of the UK? <laughs> no, it was not. It was sh- definitely not. Okay. I'm starting to piece this together. Starting to, yeah. Either way. Kate, so Bill Clinton yes. <laughs> wore, uh, did you guys see this? A bright green dress. It looked like a green screen dress. She was just asking to be like, put whatever you want on this dress. And is and that the, what happened? The oh, internet went nuts. Oh, I haven't seen that. Yeah, she wore, yeah. Oh, just, Derek, oh I saw her dress, but that. I haven't seen the. Yeah. Oh, that's genius. Which princesses? I'm lost on <laughs> yeah. the last Epstein. Kate, Kate Middleton. Kate, Kate Middleton, Middleton <laughs> green screen. Green dress. Google that gives you. Epstein Diana Wales dress. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah, that's that's a great example of how um, you know you you so might be royalty in the UK, but you sh- here in America, our culture won't allow you to wear a green screen dress. <laughs> you just can't get away with it. What are yeah? Look up like edits or something. Me, like, but Twitter I I this. did read about this. It's <clears throat> some you know designer. She rented the dress, but she's wearing the emeralds um, of the queen. That necklace. And the queen it, is the queen is of Wales. The queen who just died, queen Elizabeth. Yes, Queen Elizabeth. I feel like she's the Queen of Wales. She's where they they live in London, right? She's the Queen of the whole. (laughs) Oh my gosh! You can just put anything. anything. Wow! This is like going hard. It's just a K-pop music video (laughs) dancing on there. (laughs) That's pretty funny. You and I, very plugged in with the internet pop culture, but when it comes to like yeah, any type of royalty, unless you've literally watched The Crown, I don't expect any guy to know no how any of this works. They need a Gen Z consultant. 
They can be like, how does, all right, let, everyone's cleared the dress is beautiful. Let's just catch in with, let's just touch base with the Gen Z consultant. Like, uh, Princess Kate, do you want it's gonna be a nightmare. the Logan Paul YouTube video on your dress? <laughs> you can't wear it. <laughs> and she's like, who's Logan Paul? You want to go to Japan and the UK in the same night? Mm. Don't do it. I think we need, on Correct Opinions, a UK correspondent mm-hmm. to pop in once a month and just kind of update us on Wales relations. Relations. Mm-hmm. That would be really helpful. It would. And don't say watch the crown. I'm not gonna watch the crown. No, we're not watching the crown. <laughs> Katie, any, so any more? So did good. you find info on the queen versus so the well, Queen Elizabeth? She is. Is no longer with us. She's not. So Charles the third is now the king. Oh, and he's he he's kinda, old. He's yeah. the oldest person to he ever plays like pickleball. Take rain. I don't think he even plays pickleball. I mean, he's they pretty old. They changed the English national anthem to "God Save the King." Did you guys hear that? Oh. Oh. the first time. Oh, at the World Cup. Interesting. I did not. I mean, he was born in 1948. So okay, well, he's no, not like he ancient. can play pickleball. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then Charles' son or daughter is who? I okay, we're done. Yeah. Uh, uh, y'all let us know. <laughs> Tis the season for clean boys. Fa la 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 la. La la, la 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 la. Thank you. Our friends at Manscaped are helping you. Uh, just be be looking and smelling and feeling great this holiday season. Season from stocking stuffers, maybe white elephants, uh, Yankee Swamp. Some uh, say perhaps Manscaped products are at the top of every wish list. Uh, and we have an offer for y'all with the year, win this year's white elephant gift and help all men in your life go from eggnog to nice hog this December. <laughs> Save 20% off and free shipping by going to manscaped.com slash Trey. That's right. Um, you, you heard the man. <laughs> what, what more is there to say? Um, no, I mean, they, they sure, they got to Shears 2.0. But do you know they also have cologne now? It smells nice. They also have uh, body buffer. Say goodbye to your loofah, silly. That's right. My mom was like, what was that cologne? It smells so nice. I was like, that's Manscaped. She's like, what's Manscaped? I'm like, listen to the ad read on the podcast. <laughs> yep, yep. Um, Manscaped is here to make holiday shopping a blast by giving products people love and, and make them laugh too. Um, Manscaped is really great. I think it's hilarious, but also really practical. I have their shampoo. I have their body wash. It does smell great. So save 20% off plus free shipping by going to manscaped.com slash Trey. That's right. 20% off plus free shipping by going to manscaped.com slash Trey. Get Manscaped, the perfect gift this holiday season. Oh, I love to learn. Isn't that right, Katie? You sure do. I'm such a smart boy, huh? Mm-hmm. Smart boy. Thank you. And with Masterclass, I'm learning even more and more things. I've become, you guys know, I've liked cooking. Gordon Ramsay, who doesn't love him? He's got a Masterclass. You can learn so many skills from Masterclass. Um, and, and you really learn a lot. And just with one subscription, I dove into like a Texas Hold'em poker thing. Why from not? Daniel, Daniel Negreanu, learned some stuff. Do they have a parenting class? Uh, I don't know. I bet they do. We should look. They've got it all. Jake, what'd you learn? Uh, I was excited. I saw that uh, my old friend Bill Nye was on there. Let's go. And I I wanted to take the class because I thought they were going to teach you how they made the theme song. Bill Nye, the science guy. Bill, Bill, Bill. But uh, turns out it's about science and problem solving. So um, in a way, I still learned a lot. That's great. We highly recommend you check out Masterclass. um, And this holiday season, uh, what if we're tired of the same type of gifts? What a fun outside the box gift. The perfect gift of an annual Masterclass membership. And you get one free. So go to masterclass.com slash Trey today. That's buy one, get one free on the annual membership. Masterclass.com slash Trey. Terms apply. I found a little pickle pastor thing just real quick. Yes. <clears throat> this is from a few months ago, so it's not his most recent post. Do you want some dramatic music? Yeah, you need some dramatic music. <clears throat> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah pull yeah. that up. The pickle pastor. <clears throat> um, the UK, England, Wales, Scotland, Ireland. Epstein. Epstein Island. Yeah. Where is Epstein's Island? Where was it? Where was it? I don't know. I never went. Shocking. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Yeah. I thought we were asking someone I who'd know, been. You thought you, yeah. It's a good time. Or Rachel and I are looking into it for honeymoon. Oh. Very cheap. It's like getting married on a Monday. <laughs> yeah. Very cheap. Smoking deal. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Go to Epstein's Island, Alcatraz, a lot of beautiful islands. If you find the right yeah. ones, it's pretty affordable. Yeah. I heard it's a killer deal. Tough to get a lot of vendors there, except flower girls. Mm, yeah. Plethora. Oh my gosh. That's enough. Oh, oh, yeah, keep going. What else? No, what else? Uh, no. uh, Derek has never rolled button. Yeah, we need. 
I wanted to bring it out not for that, but I had to. It's <laughs> funny, funny joke. Okay. Um, yeah, Derek's got a rule button in case, you know, there's a <laughs> sequence of events here. Family man. He's oldest and wisest. Family man. Um, That's funny. Oh, wait, do we have some? All right, let's hear the pickle passer. <clears throat> You don't have a rec game scheduled? So what? You don't have a drilling partner? So what? You don't want to work together? Sorry. You want to work together, but aren't in my area? So what? She's in Missouri. I'm in Cali. And this week, we worked on a progression of wall drills. I absolutely love the wall. Because it allows you to hit multiple shots into the ball. That the ball. There's a typo in here. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna start over. I absolutely love the wall because if allows you to. Ah, there is a few. Okay, because if I'm just gonna read it as it is. I absolutely love the wall because if allows you to hit multiple shots. The balls machine can't give you back to back. Preach! First drill. Attack slash reset. Second drill, overhead slash reset slash uh, attack slash reset again. Third drill, attack slash pancake defense. I play pickleball quite a bit. Never heard of pancake defense. <laughs> the players were truly hungry. Let me hear you say hungry. Hungry. Thank you. To develop their games will always, all caps, find a way. The others, dot, 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 dot. Excuses and complaints. Choose wisely. Hashtag mental game. Hashtag no excuses. Hashtag growth. Wow. That is, I mean, what are the, what's the comment section like on that? <laughs> so yes! He's, so he's a pickleball trainer. That guy, he's just a no excuses guy. <laughs> he's, he's, he is. You show up to work with your head down. I don't care if you're in Missouri and I'm in California. Yeah. you. I guarantee, I, mean, I, I don't want to like get too far to myself, but I bet Pickle Pastor, his like, his, his favorite wall to play drills on was the border wall. <laughs> He's like, they built a segment out here in Cali. I go down there every weekend and play drills. Wow. He's hungry because he's doing all those pickle. I mean, all those pancake. Pancake, yeah. pickle. I don't pancake. know the terms. So what? Your partner's not there? So what? Your wife's your playing partner and she's leaving you? So what? Wow. Grab your paddle. Hit the courts. I haven't talked to my family in three years. Your kids yeah, say, Daddy, Daddy, will you at least be around for Christmas? So what? So what? <laughs> There's a pickleball court. <laughs> Attack slash reset slash don't respond to kids' text slash don't buy wife anything for Christmas slash reset. Your wife's like, you, everything you asked for, afford the dang giving machine ball back to your reset. <laughs> <laughs> so what? <laughs> That's, dude, he loves pickleball. I mean, it is like, I mean, yeah, I don't, I don't try to engage with those posts too much because the algorithm is then going to think, oh, he wants more of this. So I try to scroll past it. And so for that reason, I, it's hard to see him now. But um, the comments are just riddled with kind of like, I would say just like boomer terminology, just like what type material backboard? Pickle pass response, ping pong table. <laughs> just a ping pong table. <laughs> 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 yeah. Um. I use old table tennis halves, period. Post photo later, period. P Pickle Pastor replies, wall in these videos, ping pong table. <laughs> I mean, they're just... I mean, that's... These are all... You know, you know, business, you know? Every generation has their own language. You know how Gen Z or like the kids, every parent's like, cap what are they even talking risen. about? No cap, Riz, what are you talking about? I mean, this communication is equally as unbelievable. You're like, oh, were they born somewhere else? Is this not their first language? Yeah. No, they... It grasp it well. Some Aborigine tribe or it's no? Like a little bit like a telegraph, you know? They're used yeah. to those. So. What size backboard? Mm -hmm. Ping pong table. Yeah. He's ping pong table. Ooh, that got me fired up. Denise said, I find the wall to be best for practice. And then in quotes, she said, beat that wall. <laughs> she's trying oh. to give him a little... Beat that wall, <laughs> right? I don't know what that's from. Or Let's just... trump our opponent. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure. Yeah. Oh my gosh, this, sorry, it just sounds bad. I couldn't get the videos to load, bummer. I drilled myself this morning for 45 minutes. I think he's trying to say he did like pickleball drills for 45 minutes. I'm sorry, I just did not expect you to do that. You better wake up and 
Get drilled. <laughs> I drilled myself for 45 minutes this morning. Drill That's yourself amazing. against a wall. Drill yourself with others. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't ever let anyone else drill you. Mixed doubles, singles, someone else's <laughs> yeah. wife. Man, that's good. Pickleball. It's on the rise. All right, last thing. Someone just replied, just Snoopy dancing. I mean, that's not the most boomer gif you've ever seen. I mean, Snoopy? Yeah. I. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Snoopy. So basically, pickleball is awesome, and it's even more fun when you join the online community and see what they're up to. Also, I liked when you said when you, you're like, I try to stroll past, so the that's a scary part of your phone. When you see things, you're like, oh my gosh, I don't want to see this again. But for some reason, I kind of want to. And you do the quick, uh, I touched, I, there's like an ad. I touched that for a second. And now it's just, <laughs> I mean, bombarding me. Dude. Bombarding. You bought a jacket, I think, from ads that came onto my ads. And I, I stopped and looked at it. I was like, oh, you know, that's where I've seen it before. Jake has it. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, well. And it, I get <laughs> fed that ad now every three hours. I, I, I just, I confirmed that I have a friend who has it. I don't need it. <laughs> Yeah, don't, God forbid, do not say the name. Oh, and then God. we're all yeah. getting ads. Nope, won't say Everyone it. listening is going to get ads. This is the same jacket. I think we might talk about on the podcast because uh, <clears throat> I like bought this and I was like, this isn't like the prettiest thing, but I think it's got to keep me really warm. And then the moment I knew this is not very fashionable is the only person I've ever had complimented was tour manager Tom. <laughs> I was like, Dang it, I knew it. I knew this one didn't look jack. that good. Uh, but it is very warm. But, Where, yeah. Do you ever wear the pickleball courts? I do Some not. Compliments there. <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah. You look very handsome in that. <laughs> yeah, and it keeps you warm. Sharp young man. <laughs> Practical. I like that. Hashtag, that does look comfy. Hashtag mental game. Mm-hmm. Uh, Balenciaga's making the round still. Big, big mess up by Melissa Balenciaga. I mean, yeah. Have you all seen? But on top of that, there's been some funny clips. Of, I've enjoyed people like burning their Balenciagas. They're like, oh wow! They're like, look at this. No more of this. Down with Balenciaga. And I think it's, I'm very proud that we don't own any. You know, it's like, well, you were, you were kind of the fool that bought $800 sneakers in the first place. It reveals, it's like doubling down on a already stupid decision. <laughs> yeah. It's like you got upset at like the stock market. You're like, you know what? Fine. I'm going to sell my AMC stock. It's like, well, yeah, you, the, I don't know if you should be proud right. that you own this. Yeah. I mean, it, yeah, we knew it was, uh, that was a ridiculous choice to begin with. And unfortunately, mm-hmm. it's become it's ridiculous twice. Exactly. So I guess I guess at this point, they're like, man, I got to just... Bro, I saw this funny video of this dude who's like, man, they did a great deal on these right now. He's <laughs> had several pairs. <laughs> that guy's not even in an Epstein's Island, for yeah. sure. Oh, oh, man. Yeah, I don't uh, think I would want to... Like, let's say I'm like a influencer or something, and Balenciaga does all this stuff... Why would I then be like, all right, I'm going to burn my Balenciaga stuff? Because now you, you are associating yourself with the brand. Yeah. With it, just which announcement, has a negative I bought this brand stuff. <laughs> yeah. So. Like, why? Right. just keep it apart. Why would you? I saw someone post that they're like, I bought this purse, the Balenciaga, Balenciaga purse, like two weeks ago, right before it came out. So that it was like this whole post of like, I called them, told them I'd like to return it. I don't want to be associated, mm-hmm. this and that. And it's like. Well, a two week return window is pretty normal. You could have just returned it <laughs> yeah. and like, not ma'am, really said anything. Like, ma'am, just please click the refund on <laughs> yeah. the site. Like, yeah. no, get Mr. Balenciaga on the phone. Yeah, yeah. Like, just just send it to us. Stop it's, making yeah. Instagram stories. Now about you it. are associated with it. Yeah, you that's it. that's a weird response. See, people like uh, like their favorite player got traded, and so they'll just post a video like burning, just like a Kevin Durant Oklahoma City Thunder jersey. <laughs> Like what? Why do that? Like oh, that helps. sell it or give it away or I don't know why you need to burn that. This is a tough part of uh, especially NBA. You can't even get players' jerseys anymore. You're moving around too much. I've got yeah. several uh, former Oklahoma City Thunder jerseys. I think of Durant, <laughs> Paul George, Westbrook, all gone, gone. Even Stephen Adams. Yeah, everyone loved him. <clears throat> nice uh, New Zealand guy. Is he? We should have a New Zealand correspondent. Yes. Yes or no. Uh, we had a nice. Is that how they talk? Yeah. Uh huh. Uh, yeah. That was actually he nailed that. Yeah. yeah okay. Um, we were. He's really tall from another country. What do you think the tallest country is? Just mean, mean height. Mm-hmm. Well, um, they don't have to be mean, but okay. Nice tall height. Amsterdam, Who is tall? Holland. Dutch. Amsterdam. Amsterdam. Really? Yeah, the Dutch. The Dutch are all super tall. Yeah. Holland. <clears throat> I fit in super well. They're all blonde and tall. I think. I think either Lithuania or Russia. It's uh, 
I think it's South Sudan. Wait, do you not know the answer? Um, Ooh. what is it? I thought I did, but now I'm not sure. Uh, Katie and I were right. Well, she was actually wrong because South Sudan Holland is only two province. Oh gosh, you're a, doing, doing the whale tour. stuff again. So. And they have a princess. <laughs> <laughs> she, yeah, she's six six. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's Wait, Amsterdam or is it? So it's Netherlands. The the city. Nether- it's Netherlands. Yeah. Yeah. So, so what is Holland? So the Netherlands is a it, country, then Holland is two of its states. Two of its states, uh, and they wear the wood shoes. Yeah. The big ones. Yeah. Oh, the wood shoes. South Sudan on there or no? <laughs> I swear. It, no. <laughs> we have South Sudan. The new bull? <laughs> I swear South what Sudan. Do you want to show you the list? Yeah, I'd yeah. love to see the list. Montenegro. Oh, wow. Denmark? Denmark? Norway? What's going on? Montenegro up? might have an issue with number of. You know what? Germany, really? Aren't you Czech, Trey? Uh, I believe I'm considerably Czechoslovakian, yes. Well, I don't know. That's split in other things, too. Europe's got a lot going on. I don't know which part. Mm, I see. Not the tall part. Shoulders. Really. <laughs> <laughs> Shoulders, yeah. Uh, I think it's South Sudan. I watched a video on that once. <laughs> I mean, tallest people in the world, South Sudan. Yeah. Give me something. <laughs> Maybe the tallest Just person in the world is from there. No. No. The Dinka people of South Sudan are known all over the world for their height. Dinka people, huh? There's some So maybe terminology. just the tribe. Their neighboring tribe is really short. The tallest people in Africa. That's what I'm getting. Okay. Uh-uh. Uh, shout out Manu Bull. Tall guy, great guy. And his son, Bull Bull. I love the, a lot of the African culture that let us name the same thing twice or three times. Easy. I kind of like that. Why don't we just do that? Kennedy, Kennedy. Easy. Yeah, pretty easy. Wow. They're tall. They are. I'm looking at it. Yeah, the average Dinka is 5 feet 11.9. Basically, they're all 6 feet. Good for (sighs) them. They, yeah. Talk about living the dream. I'm 6 foot. Is that really that much? I mean, uh, the average male in America is 5'10". No. No. That's something people like me say because they're Uh 5'10". Is it really not? I bet it's 5'9". Yeah. Let's let's look at that. Up. <clears throat> I bet it is. Right in. Let's just make the rest of this trivia. Mm-hmm. What else? We're learning a lot here. I bet it's five nine, Katie. I think I thought it was five ten. Five nine. Five nine. Five nine. All right. Second second question. Average height of a man in Japan. What do you guys think? Ooh, Japan. Right now, they're not a short. <laughs> Right yeah. now, I would have gone to maybe or Chinese. Or you know what? I am proctoring this quiz, so maybe the Chinese <laughs> will be the next question. <laughs> proctoring five China, um, Japanese, yes. Uh, now I'm remembering it. Uh, all the all the, fa- all the, the other East Asian, documentaries, the East saw. Asian kids I knew in high school who would go by like Peter or Tim or something. Mm-hmm. I remember I had the same uh birthday as Peter, so we bonded over good. He's like, same birthday. And he's a great guy. I'd always say, what's up, Peter? I don't know his real name. Should have gone by his real name. Great guy. And he was a good six, too. Wow. So I'm going Japan. Just a nod, a nod over to America. Five, nine and a half. Okay. I would like everyone else to have personal stories on why you're getting to your guess. Yep. Um. Yep. <laughs> because that's how you make sure it's not um, a race related. Race related. Yeah. yeah. I knew a guy. He I was should tall and know. he was kind. My dad we used to go to Japan all the time for work, but I right. never went. And, and he would come back and you'd say, Dad, Dad, never, how tall were they? Yeah, I never. <laughs> he didn't do he, that? He didn't take, like, photos with his, like, you know, company or anything, so I didn't really can tell. But I'm going to guess 5'8". Okay. That's, Derek? See, that was offensive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just wait for the real. Yeah, that could be offensive. Watch. Uh, I'm going 5'7". I'm going to oh. say they're a little bit shorter than the average... United States uh, person. He's never met a Japanese person, by the way. (laughs) No personal story attached Uh, to it, but he was correct. Maybe that's the key. Uh, Don't get to know them. Five feet, 7.4. In hindsight, I may have, Peter was larger than life type of guy. I may have over. (laughs) He had a big personality. I don't know if he was Uh, (laughs) 6'2". No no coaches were tracking him down. He's probably my height. 5'7". Cool. Okay. Well, that was fun. Um, I, what what's going on? I know nothing. I want to hear from you guys. 
uh, uh, Biden laptop thing. Big news. So it's one of those things I'm kind of like, ah, I'll read about it later. I feel like I feel that way with almost any Twitter thread. Once I learn it's a thread, mm-hmm. it's like, oh, how, how far am I going to have to scroll for this? And so, yeah, I, I don't want to say too much either because I don't know enough. But basically, there was, you know, a long time ago, a, couple, a few years ago, like a, a computer repair shop in Delaware. And how tall is he, by the way? I believe, Katie, what would your dad say? 5'11". Okay. Um, yep. yep. Dad, dad, how tall is Hunter yeah, Biden? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, a computer repair shop in Delaware like a few years ago or something. Like they're like, hey, we got this computer in. We think it belongs to Hunter Biden, um, which is wild because he doesn't live there. Um, and no taxes there. Uh, maybe. Yeah. A lot of companies yeah, like to do their uh, like fire an, or like file an LLC there. Hunter is like, I'll just go there. Yeah. Make it official. Wait, what? I mean, I, I'm going to save like 70 bucks in sales tax <laughs> on this computer. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know. I think because of some issues like that, some uh, publications were maybe uh, didn't feel great about like publicizing everything that was on the laptop because some of the things didn't match up. Um, but then on top of that, it kind of came out that like some of these organizations, even like the Biden administration themselves, there's like email correspondence between them and Twitter and other news outlets, like a- actively working to bury things from this laptop. Wow. You know? Yeah, they banned Like deleting anything. tweets and stuff. <clears throat> Was it the New York Post that had an article that got about it that they censored? Really? Yeah. Something like that. I don't know. That's a, even what I said right there. I'm like, I don't even know if all what that's right. What uh, do you know? He missed uh, Ted Cruz uh, retweeting a very graphic image of Hunter Biden <laughs> where you can, it's blurred, but you could tell. What's oh. on there and what's happening? When did that happen? That's uh, funny. Did Ted Cruz just not know, or was know. he just like, "Hey, Ted Cruz and Twitter has been wild." I support everybody. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's all good. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. Well, that is pretty wild. So, I mean, is this just like funny, or is there like real re- repercussions from this? It feels like anything. Like, didn't a couple years, like a year ago, America was like, "Oh yeah, there's aliens," and everyone just kind of went about their day. That's true. It's it's just another just drop in the bucket. I feel like where it's like, "Oh, that's kind of wild," but I mean, we all kind of knew both sides of the government are corrupt anyway. Well, got to go to work. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, uh, I'm gonna scroll to my phone and some more. That is kind of what we do. But if the royal family does some. We'll get fired up for that. Yeah, her mm-hmm. dress was bright green. Yeah. I mean, think about it. Prince Andrew was involved. We'd love talking about Epstein, but, you know, Hunter Biden, uh, snore, snore. Give us some more. Con- Kanye is going to be the most interviewed man that ever walked the planet. Yeah, I'm starting to feel bad for him. It's taken a turn from, like, entertaining to, like, please get help. If yeah. This is sad. Let's just stop. Someone take your phone away. Yikes. Yeah, when Alex Jones was being the rational one in the group, it was... <laughs> oh, yeah, there was a funny interview. He had interviews on Alex Jones. Alex Jones was like, I mean, I mean, I think... I do think Hitler, like, purposely killed some people, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, he was, like, leveling with them. Like, I mean, we can admit that, right? Yeah, the guy who's been kicked off every platform for years. Like, the first guy to ever be kicked off Facebook. That guy's even like, whoa, Kanye! <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, like, yeah, he's, like, readjusting in a seat. <laughs> I, whoa, I've never heard anyone say that. He got successfully sued for a billion dollars based off, like, words out of his mouth. <laughs> and he's the one being like, hey, let's pump let's, the brakes. Let's be rational here. Uh, I <laughs> I did see a funny tweet that was like, uh, uh, which, which granted, it'll be exciting to see what Elon keeps doing. But someone was like, uh, Elon, like, got rid of the verification thing and then like put it back on as after he saw why, and then he like said, "Let's put Kanye back on." And then immediately banned him again because he saw like, oh, that was why he was banned. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it was better than he thought, but yeah, it sounds like something like a parent does or whatever. It's like you know what. I think they're ready to go without training wheels. Why do we even have these things? Mm-hmm. Fall over you're in the hospital. It's like, you know what? Training wheels for another six months probably isn't that big of a deal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> let's, let's keep them on. Let's put them back on. Let's put a railing around the pool, pool deck. Uh, let's get to some segments to, to round us out. Ooh, ooh before I do that, I want to, uh, I've been doing something new. I want to hear if anyone else is doing this. If Am I a total idiot that's just like watched too many TikToks or I got, um, <clears throat> I've been doing a cold plunge. You heard of this? You see people doing these? Is this like a bidet? But no, <laughs> but outside, but outside, so. but outside. <laughs> it's like riskier. You can get arrested, and you can only do it when yeah. it's snowing. Yeah. So mm-hmm. I, uh, I've been seeing this. A lot of people. Are, I mean, I guess it's always been a thing. Like you know, like athletes take ice baths and stuff. But yeah. I've done it. I just 
bought the cheapest thing and filled it up with water. Cause I'm like the earth will make it cold right now. And so I've done it twice where I get into freezing cold water. Do you have a trough like in your backyard? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yep. And I just get in there. It's probably like a th three foot wide diameter, like only like four feet tall. So I just crouch in there for like two minutes and get out. Cool. Two about, minutes. What, what are the benefits? Let's hear it. It's horrible. Uh, um, well, oh, well, there's all sorts of these. Uh, there's people saying it, uh, it obviously helps with in, in inflammation, but mm -hmm. like it can really help with anxiety and release all these endorphins. And it's like there's studies that it helps, you know, decrease chance of heart disease, blah, 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 blah. If you can get in for like 10 minutes a week into cold Ooh. water. Mm. Uh, mainly, I just think it's like this weird kind of fun thing where like you get like challenge. You, you, I'm like, because you, I've experienced getting out of it and that's like, it's like time. when you finish anything hard or finish a tough workout or you've accomplished like a busy work day. When you get like, home, you know you're what? Like, it was all worth it. Oh, <clears throat> that actually feels good. And it's that in two minutes. And so I'm like this morning I worked out and then went to it. And it's like every time you get right next to it and you're like, oh, my gosh, I don't want to do this. <laughs> yeah. And it's kind of this weird, fun thing. And it was I, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to keep doing it. But that's my story. Well, you hashtag I, mental game, dude. Hashtag mental. Part of me is like, this is fun. I'm going to do it. Part of me is like, is this the dumbest thing I've ever done? <laughs> you kind of started it when we were at Lake Tahoe. Well, that's what's crazy. We yeah. were in Lake Tahoe for the baby moon because she, you know, do everything. But she, she started to throw out push presents, which that's a oh, that's yeah. an aside. Derek, did you give your wife push presents? Is that like a pickleball thing? Is that a new thing? It's not. Um, I did <laughs> yeah. not. So you kind of throw. Yeah. Is that the pickle pastor strategy <laughs> push press push, present, push slash present reset slash attack well there's a new trend there's a new gift for everything yeah i already got the gift picked out so no worries <laughs> she to, like, said she won't she said it. she won't push them out unless there's a present yeah uh -huh. it's like a carrot in front of a what if you uh -huh. get induced then you not get your push present or is it merit based it's, there's yeah there it is merit based there's there's tears to it induced you're still you're pushing still, yeah. just well in case you didn't know well it's actually, more of a well, actually it's, usually longer well no well because when they induce the doctor's I pull think, it, pulling it by its mouth <laughs> i think the cord did you from mean its to mouth. say c-section <laughs> um no i've okay, always heard okay. inducing was like um putting crisco on a watermelon mm, okay well isn't that C what they say c-section caesar section Caesarean section. Caesarean. Caesarean salad. salad. Yes. You're getting them confused. <laughs> yeah. It was Julius Caesarean. Uh, yes. Salad. Yeah. Augustus Caesarean. Um, anyway, he Caesar was from Wales, section. and I would have got him a push present. Um, no, it's exciting. Congrats uh, on your push present. <clears throat> but <Thanks>. I <laughs> it started in Tahoe, but it's I that water was probably I looked it up. It was like fifty five sixty. Yeah. Which everyone's probably experienced that. Yeah. Like it's cold. You've probably jumped. Yeah. In cold what, water what is before. like California Ocean, uh, the, the Pacific, <laughs> as some people call it? What is yeah. California? California left? actually owns <laughs> the whole ocean. Yeah. Left ocean. When you're yeah. looking, how hot? It, um, I think. Well, we can, Derek can look that up. Pacific <laughs> Ocean temperature in December. In December. <laughs> Uh, are we taking guesses and your personal no, experience saying, with all of it? Personal experience <laughs> with the ocean. I went one time uh, in June '63. Ooh, um, December. If you ask for December, you know, I had to yeah. click Could more. Could you give it to us? Month a north, link. the most north month. Oh my gosh! It, if you're looking at a list, the or most south north month. <laughs> if a list, top <laughs> top, <laughs> top month solstice month. And is it the same for someone who's five ten versus six? <laughs> Keep going because I gotta find a new uh, link. <laughs> <laughs> Only giving them June. Well, six. So you 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 were January fifty nine, fifty nine. You've oh, been okay. in that. Yeah. So I've been in that. Okay. Did you like swim around for a while? Or it's chilly, but you got As long as you keep mm. moving, I yeah. think you're fine. Yeah. Um, that's pretty cool. And that was probably what Tahoe was ish, where like yeah. you get in and it takes your breath away. Yeah. And then, but this was different because I just filled it up, and it's got to be forty or lower. Oh, I'm sure. I have a little yeah. temperature thing for it's <clears throat> for the baby's bath, but we can use it now for your cold Great. plunge. Yeah, is I would duck? love to actually. <laughs> it's is a rubber it? duck, yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's a rubber duck. <laughs> yeah. But dude, the first day I did it, yeah, that was way different than like the 55 or 35 or whatever. It was, I actually uh, almost passed out. No. Oh, okay. I did have Katie monitor me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a very brave person, but it, it was only just my my feet. It was like a type of pain in my feet where I was like, I is this is this gonna be okay? Maybe I shouldn't do is this. this so I'm gonna I bought or? some little like shoe things because that was all the, that was the main 
That was the only thing I felt in there. Interesting. Was within 20 seconds, my feet screaming just hurt. in pain. Like, <laughs> well, probably because all the blood rushed out of them. And they're like, probably. Do you think, I mean. That's a wild thing. But it does, you get out and you're it's just kind of like a, you feel amazing. My body is in, a, is in some pain right now. Do you think I should do that? Sure. Oh, do you think he'll like that? Just being frozen oh, for a little man. bit? Oh, man. Maybe. I can't be good. Yeah. If you can get into a hot tub, maybe <laughs> yeah. cold plunge is not the right thing. We're answer. officially a uh, third trimester. Ooh, size of the baby. Yeah. Oh, yeah, baby oh, size. We're third trimester, okay. and so we're entering third trimester vibes. Uh, Katie thought she was going to labor last night. I did not. <laughs> so that was interesting. We're reaching that, that phase. completely made No, up. you admitted that. No, I didn't. This morning, you are like, uh, I got a little worked up that maybe... That's it's like Judge Jake. <laughs> no, no, Judge Jake. No, no, no. We're good. No, no, going into labor. You literally said that this morning. No, uh, not. You're like, not, if I got to be honest, I, I was, was low-key getting, like, what if. I was getting anxious about going into labor in the future. She said, when is Labor night. Day this year? Oh. <laughs> yeah. I want to make plans for okay. us. Okay, hold on. Basically, he was he was moving around more than he ever has, and she started like pacing around her bedroom, and then she I was, was like, I need to, to eat, and she got like a bowl of oatmeal, and... I was trying I was to like, get him to go wild. to sleep. I was rocking him to sleep by walking. Size of the baby. Size oh, of the baby. Right. I'm guessing we're doing. You want to guess? Let's guess the movie props. The movie, yeah, prop. movie props. I'm going. Uh, oh, movie props. Movie props. Size of a record they played in. Remember the Titans. Size of the cake Pedro built for Deb. In wow. Napoleon Dynamite. Okay. The radio that radio held in radio. <laughs> mm. He knows People we're talking it. about it right now. He is really moving and grooving. Wow, uh, all of you guys are wrong. Your baby is as oh. big as Dorothy's ruby slippers from Wizard of Oz. I guess both of them put together. Both put together. Clinking mm. or not clinking? Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, I'm not sure. Currently clinking. Um, the uh, 80s, 90s nostalgia is as big as the clear landline phone. Remember those? Uh, every girl had one sure. oh. every girl had one. Oh yeah i mean did y'all did you dudes talk on a landline phone i never i did. hated it because it, it girls used to chat yeah it meant someone was calling my house and be like is jake there and then of course i get on the phone like so who's kelsey and like i don't have to answer to that like don't call my own phone talk to me at school it was wow kids will never know how much fun was it to to discreetly like chime in your mom would be on the phone you'd just pick up the phone oh, and start yeah. listening She's oh like, yeah Trey, i can hear you or get off the phone. Three way calls you for like a prank. That happened to me. Yeah. That happened to you. Yeah. They got gotcha. you. Yeah. What do you think it was? They like a girl called who was my friend and had a boy on the on the line too, and I didn't know, and was like, "Do you like? Do you like him?" Oh. Mm hmm. Yep. Yep. Oh, and Dirty. You, 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 you did or didn't? Yeah. What happened? I don't really remember. I just remember being like, "That was so mean." <laughs> But okay, the baby is that's also like, as big as a head of lettuce. Whoa, that's some big slippers. Talk about a cesarean salad. <laughs> that saying cesarean salad is mean. like making me a little nauseous. Honestly, it's so oh, gross. Oh, sorry, sorry. You don't want one of those? <laughs> no. Oh man. Yeah, but also on the other app, Maybe we'll make merch uh, for the day you give birth. <laughs> hey, at least push present for the listeners. Yeah, push present. <laughs> it says, hey, at least it wasn't a cesarean salad. So on the other um, app, it's now saying an eggplant, which the, the apps need to get together because yeah. there's other apps that an eggplant a few weeks ago. Yeah, they can't do that. They're really, really getting confused. Wow. Um, well, so yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. No hard words. What vegetables get bigger than that? A pumpkin? A watermelon? Ooh. Mm. Get the Crisco out. Um. Yeah, some of these are getting pretty pretty weird as you go on. When you were talking about the cold plunge, it reminded me, I had a conversation this weekend with a couple, and they were like, they were telling about a cleanse that they did, and uh, it wasn't quite the juice cleanse. It's a little different. It's like a, it's a colon cleanse. You guys ever heard about this or looked into it? I've, well, I've heard of types of colon cleanses. Okay, I'll tell you what they told me, and I was pretty fascinated. I was like, I want to do this just out of curiosity. And this a, a little bit of this might get a little graphic for gastrointestinal type stuff. Not anything crazy. But they were like, every morning you drink like a, a big glass of prune juice. That's your thing. And then the rest of the day, pretty much all you're drinking is water or like occasionally apple juice for a little energy. And that's kind of the thing for three days. Prune juice in the morning, primarily water, no food. And what happens, It's it fully cleanses out your colon. And they said towards the end of it, what starts to come out of you is like 
black. And what's happening is that like feces basically gets built up on your colon and it just kind of stays there it like almost like mm-hmm. setifies or whatever yeah. on your colon and so you do this colon cleanse to really like cleanse it out and then you start some wild stuff comes out of you but it's like it, i guess it fully cleanses your insides so rachel and i are in the wow. in the discussion phase <laughs> rachel wants to get healthy i'm just insanely curious <laughs> i want to see let's document it i mean i would love to add a color to like, what has come out of me hunter you biden's could... files are in there <laughs> yeah, get them out get them out the first diaper you guys change will have that black tar death yeah just yeah fair warning it mm. caught me by surprise and it Dang, was that a sucks for katie <laughs> 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 will the nurse change the first one uh, i don't know but <laughs> <laughs> she's so annoyed by that. Um, Where's the nurse? You know, instead take care of, of my child. Instead of doing th- all that, you could get. <clears throat> I think it's called a colonic done. Oh, I just get it like irrigated out of me. Um, yeah, a shop vac. Yeah, I think so. Here comes the model <laughs> No, it is. You want to have that of, done in forty-five minutes? <laughs> yeah, you got to shoot tomorrow. Colonic time. <laughs> That's how you knew about it, right? That is how I knew about it. I never did it. <laughs> I'm not saying you nailed, did it. You nailed it. Yeah, but you knew I models do, that did, right? Like it, yeah. Do you, I mean, can you imagine how fly your stomach is after that? <laughs> it's like three <laughs> days. Like you get left out of the room in my industry. Yeah. <laughs> that, it's taking three days. You have a shoot tomorrow. Uh, what do you do? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I don't know the ins and outs of it, but yeah, you, that would She's be like, a quicker procedure than drinking prune juice every day okay wow she's like she's like the pickle pastor for your bowel you know? <laughs> yeah. fired up. prostate pastor let's go <laughs> those are different things <laughs> um <laughs> those are different things I would do you don't that. have a prostate no I-, I was 50 50 on that i'm gonna be honest i always tricks me. katie can lie prostrate but doesn't have a prostate yeah i think explain that mm-hmm. to us I can barely lie prostrate. <laughs> Katie no longer can do either. <laughs> Prostrate's an awesome word to mean lie down like that. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> Call of Duty. Naps. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> I don't get that reference Well, we'll s- keep y'all posted on the cold plunge. Jake's colon. Prune diet. Yeah. If we take some time off for Christmas, that could be the time. It's got to be, I feel like, a time where you're not doing much. Mm-hmm. And it just me and the prunes. <laughs> yeah. Just pruning. For sure. With the bathroom nearby. Yeah. Yeah. Jeez. You're not doing a lot of outing those days. Yeah. Okay. Good to know. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. Let's get to some segments. We, it's been a while. So let's get back to... Uh, uh, Derek, that video I sent you, the, the, the TikTok, got this sent to the Instagram. Send us your submissions. Anything, your videos, your questions, things to roast. We got a, a special crazy white baby name today. I think it's time. I have someone I want you guys to meet. Here he is. This is Lord Lucy. Oh. Lord Daniel Lucy. I've been waiting a really long time to make this video. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. What was I saying? I've just been waiting a long time to make this video and introduce you to baby Lord. My little sweet baby. All right. You know what I'm most bothered by there is that she left in where she said, oh, what was I saying? <laughs> Edit it out. Edit it out. That bothers me the She's most. Really Pregnancy sleep deprived. brain. She's Pregnancy sleep deprived. Brain. You can't, you can't, you know. You can't. You can't blame her. Edit I mean, something after the fact. Raising yeah. a normal kid's one thing. She's raising the Lord. <laughs> yeah. Wouldn't it be a perfect baby? Is that baby from Wales? It's a boy, by the way. She said he, right? Yeah. Lord Lucy. Lucy is a boy? throws you off. Lucy was the last name. Lucy's the last name. That's what's great. Lord Daniel. You think they don't think that was middle name? It, no. It, she, 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 Lord, said, she said Lord Daniel Lucy. Yeah. Oh. And I know she said, um, uh, what was I saying? What she, was I saying? She said that too. Like, so this is our sweet Lord. I've thought about it for a long time about how uh, uh, you've always, it's amazing that I've never ever heard of. Um, I guess the Mexican culture kind of does it. Jesus. Sure. Which is a little, it's like a little spicy Jesus. Yeah. But like our culture, you've, I've never met a kid named Jesus. I've never met a kid named like Satan. I've never met a kid named like some of these. Like names are we, there rules or do we just agree not to? Un, un like said rules of like, let's just not name them. I feel like it'd be very hard for the kid, but this is the first I've seen of it. Crazy yeah. white baby names. Crazy um, white baby names. What about the Imagine singer? Imagine you're like, Lord, you got a kid, you're like a teacher, like, Lord? Yeah. Lord, Lord, you shouldn't do that. Wait, what? The singer, Lord? She spelled it different, though, right? She didn't eat yeah, at the but end. I, you know, 
that's a weird singer. Yeah. She's also from is that is our other are other uh cultures is that a thing? Lord is New Zealand. No, it's a, it's just a stage name. Her name is Ella Marija Lani Gellick O'Connor. I mean, he's going to be so confused <clears throat> if he ever goes to church or anything. Yeah, do not use the Lord's name in vain. He's like, well, why'd they write that commandment about me? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Or like, he's going to think all these people are like pleading for him, you know, like, Lord, please, you know. <laughs> He's gonna. And, and I think it's up to it's his. Too much weight for a kid. Yeah. yeah how does he want to view it? Yeah. Positive, negative. Mm-hmm. Trust in the Lord. I mean, there's a lot of good things. Do you think he'll just too. go by Daniel or? Um, LD maybe. LD. LD. Yeah. Unless he has a learning disability, then that's easy to be made fun of. But. LDL. LDL. Dan, or maybe Dan just Lucas. Go Dan Lucy. Lucy. <laughs> Lord uh-huh. Lucy. Yeah. Wait, is Dan? Why do I, Dan Lucy, <laughs> I think it's the name of a uh, the news anchor from like the area where Derek and I grew up. I was like, why do I know Dan Lucy all of a sudden? Dan Lucy. Wow. <laughs> so, like, That's wait. impressive you know that. Well, it just like, it was like this suppressed memory in That's my head. That's dang right. What channel? Uh, Ozark's K-Y. First. <laughs> yeah, Ozark's First. There it is. He's been sharing the stories on KOLR 10 Sports. Oh, yeah. Caller 10. Caller yeah. 10. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like a, I would love to hear sports from that guy. Oh, yeah. It's a sports face. Dan Lucy has talked about Jake Triplett's Trafford Indians basketball before. So. Wow. Me and Dan are tight. Did your school do the uh, like school announcements, listen off what the kids scored? Oh, yeah. No, I think Rachel, someone I was around recently was talking about this, and I was like, I didn't get this. I would have loved it. There's no way they're doing any war, right? They're probably too, like, this will be too elitist, yeah. crazy division. Or crazy mm-hmm. division. But I remember there'd be, I'd have a decent game, be like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be. They name the first like top two or three scores or something. I want to get on there. And Trey Kennedy with 11 points. You're like, oh, 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 oh yeah. that is right. That sounds awesome. Mm-hmm. I, I after I left, I feel like my high school started doing like a morning show, which seemed awesome. Oh, yeah. I would have loved to have been a part of. But that was fun. Like to do like announcements and they give updates on like all the sports teams. And- what is that amazing? I feel like the grades though were pretty hush hush. Well, I guess they announced maybe National Merit Scholars heard of that yeah you're saying like announcing i'm sorry they didn't they didn't do like and these are the top 10 act scores they yeah. didn't do that you know but sports yeah. maybe we should have value education well, a little more sports are a little more public and peter you know. would have had his name up in lights because <laughs> man was he good at calculus he was tall at calculus i don't think you should say that well he, he was he was brilliant i'm not making that up okay <laughs> you're the Katie's one got something against seven. peter yeah i don't wow why isn't peter like I don't. I don't. Um, Lord Lucy. Lord if Lucy. If you're somebody listening to this in the future, hit us up. Um, crazy white baby name. Send them to us. That that I don't know if I have any more. That's that's the craziest one I've heard in a long time. No, that one's great. That's awesome. Until ours. Oh yeah, just wait. Just wait. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Little Allah. We're trying to top the charts here. <laughs> yeah. All, it's all a little I, publicity stunt. Allah for us. James. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be cute. Oh, um, a little quick, quick triggered. Get us out of here. Uh, Derek, Derek, yeah. Derek's got, Derek's got the man with the comments today. He's had a heck of a week. This weekend, I tried to buy a truck. Uh, it was family a big man. truck. Pack out the family. Yeah. It, it was one that you may say I'm like compensating for something. Yeah, yeah, yeah good, right, good right, right. But um, and I, unlike you guys, I, I'm still the old school way where you have to haggle someone who wears cargo shorts. Mm. Mm. Um, and it did not go overweight well. guy cargo shorts yeah. 50 degrees yeah. how you're not cold yeah <laughs> De- definitely screams at high school football games yeah like breaks his own cowbell mm. yeah um, we thought we had a deal made a deal we were going to show up and all we had to do was sign papers on our way there he said sorry sold it to someone else <gasps> And uh, out from under, Wait, you haggled under. like over the phone with this guy or well, you've we been were a there the day before and we ended up walking because we couldn't get to a deal and then that night, nice. I you re- teach him a lesson. Yeah. Oh, I thought you were literally saying like we I walked to the dealership. No, I don't have a truck. I really <laughs> needed that truck. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were saying I was like, oh my gosh. We yeah. tried to tug at his heartstrings a little bit. <laughs> Please. I was dragging my kids there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so walk- do you have any water? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we went there the day before and played a little hardball. Tried to lowball, didn't mm-hmm. work. I get home and refresh the page, and they dropped it to a price that we would have bought it at. Yeah. Right? Like, oh, great. Yeah. So then I called the next morning made a deal and then on our way there yeah wow so 
coming. that way of car buying is crazy that we still do. Like, yeah, we trust these guys. It is a fun. That's why they get a bad rap. You see why? Yeah, it's a weird sleazy deal. I remember there was an era where I was really slinging fireworks, like the summers in uh, in between college years. And I got so used to people wanting a deal and haggling that then I felt like this desire to like, I go to Walmart and be like, is this negotiable? Like I, it was like in me. I mean, it was only like two weeks worth, but when you, if that's all you do all day long. It's like, yeah, why isn't everything negotiable? Yeah. That's so I, fun. I did work at a helicopter kiosk when I was in college at the mall, flying those little toy uh-huh. helicopters around and the prices aren't listed because you're supposed to haggle. Like they, fun. they got, it was, it was fun. Have y'all wow. been to Fogo to Chow? No, huh. no, no. Have you heard of this? Uh-huh. Oh, you haven't? That's where they're going to show on the meat, right? Yep, yep. It's a chain restaurant um, where you pay, you pay a flat fee for unlimited various cuts of meat. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's like fun for a second when you're like, how much meat do I need? Yeah. Uh, so I've been once and, you know, I think it's, it's a classic like for like 60 bucks. It's like our, our go to you get this. But, you know, for. I think it might be three options. You know, eighty-five bucks. You're gonna, we're gonna, you're gonna access to this cut of meat for our top tier. You know, one hundred twenty bucks. You're gonna get some Ew. prime rim in there. You're gonna get some whatever. So we all, I'm here with a few friends. We're all like first timers. It's kind of fun. Like, just give us simple whatever. And this guy comes over. He's like, fellas, um, tonight we're kind of doing a deal. I mean, hundred, hundred, you know, hundred five bucks. We're gonna get you. And I, I know the guy. I'm gonna bring him out here. He's dealership buy. And we're like, no, we're good. We're good. He's like. Ah. I could do 95. <laughs> and we're like, wait, like, what? what? Are we nego- is this For negotiable? Meat? <laughs> what is this? It was some, this like used dealer, this used car dealership salesman showed up out of nowhere. He's like, guy, guy, all right, guys, you guys are busting my chops, but I'll go to 90. I'll go to 90. <laughs> uh, we get the, I'll even get the goat meat out here. That's not even approved by the city. I'll have them bring it. We're like, no, we're fine. That's so funny. A it waiter blew- just being like, Corporate's gonna go ballistic, but I could do eighty five. Yeah. I said it. I, I said, said I it. could do eighty five. Eighty five, like, dude, chill out. No, <laughs> that's amazing. I, I was nice shocked at that. There. So just heads up, I guess photo to Chow is is negotiable, uh, which was very shocking to me. I feel like I had a situation where I I it was that, and then I went uh, uh, again, thinking that was the process. <laughs> I think that this has happened to me to several places where I feel like one, you're kind of like, oh, I guess that's what you can do. And so I went and I was like, um, well, last time we were here, they offered us this. So can we do it for like 90? And I had this employee stare at me like, have you lost your mind? <laughs> it's <laughs> a <laughs> <never laughs> chain restaurant. Just pay it or don't. What do I care? And I was like, oh my God. It's well, like, well, well this guy went rogue this one time I was there. <laughs> that is funny. Yeah. You would, like I mean, an hourly worker would haggle with you. It's like, I'm getting paid the same, dude. Why would I care what you pay for it? He looked at me like no one had ever said that to him ever. <laughs> I'll give you 90 for it. I was like, what? That is yeah, really like funny. It's like you go into Chili's. <clears throat> you're just like haggling for your chicken tenders. Two yeah. For, two, two for 20 is good, good, but you know what sounds really good? Two for 16 and a half. Two for 16. Your move. Yeah. yeah. What do you think? <laughs> your move. Right now. Three, two, one. Give me the deal. Give me the chicken cage and pasta. What do you say? Yeah. I guess that's my trigger. That memory. That was very embarrassing. I'm going, it's already embarrassing to make a photo of Chow a little bit. I mean, it's kind of nice, but um, yeah, it's just a fancy meat buffet. I'm going to a, a hibachi place tonight. Maybe I'll see oh, if they would like. Dude, <laughs> hibachi. Hibachi is to food as like karaoke is to bars. You're, once you, a year, you you're it. like, wait yeah. a second, let's go to hibachi tonight. Good for you. What? Just randomly? I hadn't been to a hibachi place since junior year prom, until about three weeks ago, and I had it, and I was like, oh my <laughs> gosh, it's just, it's just chicken, rice, and noodles. Your this favorite is amazing. <laughs> Soy sauce. Yeah. Yeah. I had an amazing time. And so I was like, we got to go again. So we're double dating with my sister and her fiance. And I'm going to see if he can get us a deal on it tonight. Mm-hmm. Uh, I will negotiate with him. Yeah. You never accept their first offer. That's mm-hmm. what they say at hibachi places. So that's what we're going to go in with. Wow. We need to go, Katie. We oh should. my gosh. We should. We should. I can really okay. put back the food these days. <laughs> it's yeah. perfect for me. <laughs> yeah. I'm fired up. Yeah. I, I went randomly maybe four years ago. For, for the first time in like five years, mm-hmm. so we're due. We went uh, when we went in Mexico. Oh, that's true. That's like that a was half. Like, that was four years ago. We though. were at an all-inclusive resort, and there was a hibachi. Okay, I feel like that half counts. Yeah, it was still fun though. Yeah, in Mexico, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. cultural experience. It was pretty good. <laughs> yeah, right. But it feels a little different when you're out in the suburbs and you're there for no good reason. Mm-hmm. You <laughs> kind of sit with a few other people. How you doing? So it's for sure someone's birthday. Yep. Yeah, 
Yeah, when we went like three weeks ago in Iowa, whatever it was, two weeks ago, they're like, so what are we celebrating tonight? And oh, everyone yeah. just kind of looks around. Food. I, Life. I don't know. Like, Iowa. It's a celebration place. Noodles. <clears throat> Do you remember? Um, you ever? I remember growing to those as a kid. It's. I'm sure it's funny. Derek, your kids might not be this old yet, but I remember as a kid, you get fixated on random things. Like we went to a hibachi once with like our, I think like uh, my dad, Chili's was top tier. So, you know, hibachi can get a little expensive. I went, we went once with like a rich friend and then I was, I remember just being locked in like uh-huh. constantly like dad, hibachi, hibachi. We finally go, but I was obsessed with. They had these Japanese sodas that has like a like kind of a ball bearing on the top. Yes. Oh, I know some people know about. these. Yes. Some people know these. Oh, talk about nostalgic. I think you still have them at those places. Yeah, weird mechanics. And you use the cap to like punch the ball plunge. into it, plunge, uh, and it's just kind of like Sprite or something. But I remember <laughs> as a kid being like, "Oh, I get one of these crazy authentic, authentic Japanese, Japanese sodas. sodas." Is this dude? it? Yes, yes, dude. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. Oh, what is it called? Read Ramoon. <laughs> Looks like you can buy Marble them on Amazon soda. if you want. I mean, have these by next episode. All right, yeah. <laughs> that'd be a random buy, but yeah, get yourself a Ramoon Marble soda. You deserve it. <laughs> Did you go for uh, blueberry, grape, or melon? <laughs> I bet I was a. I was probably a blueberry kid. I'd go grape today or melon. <laughs> oh yeah! Well, so excited. Oh cool. There's also yeah. a yuzu on there. I saw. Oh. That, that could be his push gift. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, a six pack of melon. Ramoon Marble Soda. <laughs> you know, I think I can do that for you. Thank you. Aww. I'm asking for maybe diamonds. So, diamonds. I'm just kidding. What are baby diamonds? <laughs> what are baby diamonds? <laughs> um, okay, uh, we'll wrap it up there. Like, subscribe, share. Love you guys, and uh, yeah, get your correct opinions merch. Be like Thanks horse girl. It. Be like horse girl. I think we all could be more like horse girl. <laughs> mm-hmm. Signing off. Peace. <laughs> correct opinion.